Hello everybody, welcome to another Valheim tutorial. I've been busy live streaming Path of Magic and I haven't been dishing out the tutorials, but that's about to change. You see, we can now build goblin stuff. Yeah, that's right. You can put a simple script on any Valheim Bepinex server and then every player on it without any mods can build goblin stuff. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. It's actually really simple. What we're going to do is build with normal prefabs, and each prefab has a corresponding goblin mode that it'll swap into when we say the goblin mode command. So here we can see that we have all of the prefabs that I'm demonstrating. We have some step ladders, we have some stairs, some wards, roof pieces, and then this weird thing. What on earth is that going to be? And look, it's this simple. All you do is type goblin mode, boom, and then watch the magic. Isn't that crazy? It's literally that, that that's it. Uh, you just build normal stuff and then you swap it. And yeah, I can already hear you. Hey, what if you go into someone's house and you just say goblin mode? Isn't that gonna ruin everything? Well, don't worry. We have reverse goblin mode. And reverse goblin mode looks at all the prefabs, inverts the mathematics, that took me longer than I'd like to admit. And then spawns everything how it should be. And we can even see these floors. Look, they're rotated, right? It took me a while to get this right, but now all we have to do is goblin mode. And then boom, look at that. We have our goblin house. And this allows players on the server to start using goblin assets. And as you can imagine, you can do the same kind of thing for any asset that already exists in the game with which players cannot currently build. Even things that don't have snap points. By utilizing the objects that are similar in dimension, we can swap everything out like this. And I've also made a, another version of it, right? That was a big one. It looks for 30 meters, but you can also do goblin... Oh no, sorry. You can also do reverse goblin mode small. And then that is just going to look at the nearest pieces and then swap those ones. And you can do that if you're working on a big base or something and you don't want to mess with every single prefab that might be related to it. Using these tools, the inverse goblin mode and goblin mode, you'll be able to build pretty much any goblin prefab that you want. But that's the easy part. How would you actually go about getting this to work on your server or on your single player situation? The first step is to install Expand World Prefabs on your server. You'll need to put this in the Bepinex plugins file, so you'll also need a Bepinex server or Bepinex in your single player host, so to speak. Then what you're gonna do is go to the description of this video and join Valheim World Editing, because that's where you'll find the glorious config share. And then once you're in the config share section, in the Valheim World Editing Discord, you'll be able to search for all sorts of incredible Expand World prefab scripts that the rest of us have made. And what's so great about this is you can just find something you like and then download it and plug it in. I have other videos about the basics of EWP, but pretty much you're going to have two files, a data file and a prefabs file. And you'll just need to plop these into your Bepinex config expand world folder. That's where I have these expand prefabs goblin building mode YAML and expand data goblin building mode YAML. And that's all you need to do to get it working. But if you want to understand a little bit more about how the script works, now I'll explain it. And remember, if you want to support my work, you could get your own server. Learn more about that at the end of the video. But the basics of this script is pretty simple. We have our goblin piece, our goblin wall, and we have our wooden wall. Players can build the wooden wall, they can't build that one. So, player builds wooden wall, we use magic phrase, it turns into goblin wall, right? Pretty easy to understand. And so, here's our script. You can see that we have the player prefab type say, which means that when the player says this goblin mode, all this other stuff happens. And what is happening? Well, pretty much, we're getting a message saying goblin mode is activated, and then we are poking or targeting all of these prefabs, which are all of the things that correspond with a goblin item. 
and you can just look in Valheim World Editing and see what all of the swap pieces are here. That means that if the player wants to build a goblin pole small, then they build a wood pole log 4. But that's not all there is to it. You also have to adjust the rotations and everything else. And that's pretty much the entire script. You know all the mechanisms, and that's it for now. If you want to support my work, consider renting your own dedicated Bepinex Valheim server to practice EWP scripting on. That's what I've been doing, and it's been an absolute blast. If you feel that Valheim has issues, well, it's time for us to start fixing those issues. Gone are the days where you needed to be a programmer to give it a crack. Now, any player can learn some basic scripting as I've shown you, and they can unleash a whole new world of Valheim upon themselves. Have you felt that something could be different? Now, you have a way to give it a shot.